Okay, so I will give an SMW plus tutorial now. SMW plus is like one level, one layer on top of what Jared and Jeroen presented this morning, if you want. Uh, so, question. Um, the thing in front of the button, is that supposed to be there because I can't see the... If you can't see everything, that's uh, not good. We'll use this thing later. So, um, Okay, SNW Plus is if you want an extension to the set of extensions that you already saw this morning. And the agenda of this talk will be like this. I'll give you an overview of what SNW Plus is. Then we'll uh, work with an actual wiki. I mean, you will use the wiki. Then I will give you a quick introduction to ontologies because we're talking about semantic wikis. So you, you must have kind of notion of what ontology is, of what the model is in order to understand the data, the semantics in the wiki. Then we create an ontology together, then we'll use the wiki to formalize it in the wiki, and then we'll instantiate this. So there will be two sections where you actually have to do work this afternoon. So as prerequisite for this, um, we could go to, to this uh, web page, to this wiki page. It's also at the bottom of every of the slide so that you can create your own user account there. That can be, maybe you can just go ahead and do it while I talk. Or maybe uh, I trust that you can listen nevertheless, nevertheless. And the browsers which are supported are Chrome, Firefox, or IE8. I've also opened the Wikidoo Anonymous users. Uh-huh, okay. OK, if you don't want to register there, um, you can even do it anonymously. but. I think having a name with all the changes is um, funny. <laughs> okay, so SMW Plus is uh, essentially, you can call it a product, a wiki product, or you can just call it, it's a, it's a, set, a set of extensions. Uh, on top of MediaWiki and Semantic MediaWiki, it's developed by a small German company, Enterprise, and it is sponsored by Vulcan under the project Halo. Um, the main goal of this um, endeavor was to enhance the accessibility and usability of the semantic features of SMW Plus, of, of a semantic media wiki. In the morning, you have seen a lot of um, square brackets and stuff, which is, um, of course, it gives you the functionality that you need. But in business scenarios, this is somehow um, tricky to sell to the users. And SMW Plus overcomes um, some of those issues. For example, by uh, providing a rich text editor which allows you to form, uh, formulate wiki pages um, by click, uh, click and uh, point and click or using those uh, toolbar on the top. Um, this currently supports more than the um, uh, with a wiki editor which is currently developed uh, by the Media Wiki Foundation. For example, we can provide change the color of text here because this in the background is creating HTML text, which then can be interpreted by media. Um, this is uh, not a complete new implementation. This is based on an existing um, JavaScript uh, client side the HTML editor called CK editor and um, adds some semantic features to this. You will uh, try it out uh, in a few minutes. So a second thing that uh, SMW Plus is adding to the uh, in, uh, environment, SMW environment is faceted search. So we implemented the solar based uh, server which stores on the one hand side the full text, creates an index out of this, and on the other side stores all the properties with their values. And which, uh, which allows you then to add a full text to filter the uh, all the pages in the wiki, and we can drill down uh, by categories, and we can drill down by properties, and then um, restrict the set of pages that can be found um, interactively. So this is very similar to the faceted search that Jaron showed in the morning, um, except that this um, that comes without the requirement of any uh, uh, customization. Don't need to define what the filter is. All the filters are there directly. Yeah. Can you remove it? Can I what? Can you go the other way and remove some of the filters if 
you don't want them visible? Uh, yeah, so what you can see on the left hand side is this, these are all the facets that exist, all the dimensions if you want. And this says available facets. You can select things here to create new filters. And if you check one of those things here, it will move up to the selected facets. So this no, is. What I meant, what I meant is as the as an administrator. Ah, okay. You don't okay. want some facets to show there. Okay, no, this is not possible right now, but it's on our roadmap to um, customize those things. And the, the goal here was to um, provide the functionality without any administrator to do anything. Of course, usually you want to tweak things a little bit. It, um, and this is if you want to top down, provide you the full functionality first, and then restrict it, whereas the other direction is okay, you have to specify everything that you want. So we took uh, this approach. Uh, another aspect of SMW Plus is uh, support for ontologies. Semantic Media Wiki um, provides you with properties and categories. But the conceptual model is of, uh, of course only consists of properties and, and, and categories. But actually you have, in, in, in your mind you have a category tree. You have a property tree. You have properties uh, associated with with categories, properties might have cardinalities and so on, which is known from the semantic web world. And SNW Plus provides those um, uh, modeling features within the SMW world. And we, um, SMW also has a graphical tool to represent this ontology. On the left hand side, you can display the, tree, the category or property tree. <coughs> Select a category in the, in the center color you see all the instances of this category, and if you click on an instance, you'll see even the properties of this instance of this category, and so on. There are even more features. You'll see this in action in a few minutes. And next thing is, okay, if you put in the data, if you have an ontology, then you also want to retrieve it somehow. Here I'm presented the ask syntax, which is the way to retrieve data from the wiki. This is very good, all, but it also requires like technical language to, to use, and uh, it could be uh, usually you want to select categories, you want to select properties, and so on. And this is the, the query interface, which gives you kind of um, nicer user interface to essentially create ask query. Uh, you'll see this uh, later too. But on the left hand side, you add filters if you want. On the right hand side you see the structure of the query, for example, find me everything which is a self-governed country, or a country, um, and uh, was founded before 1995. And you can also say, okay, I want to see the values of these properties, and at the bottom you can say, okay, please visualize this as a table or as a list. So this is all possible within the user interface. And whenever you change the query here, the preview of the result updates automatically so that you can, that you are guided in creating your program. So, um, next thing is um, I want you to do some stuff with me together and the first thing is, okay, let's try the with the wiki editor to um, create a wiki page, enter some text, upload an image and something. So, just so that you can get, get that, that you get a feeling, how do I work? with SMW Plus, especially the uh, rich text editor. By the way, is this open source? Yeah, everything is open source under the GPL license, like MediaWiki itself. To, to this wiki, you should see a page similar to this one. First thing that you should do or could do is go to the right hand corner, uh, bottom corner and log in or create an account. So you're invited to do this now, if you didn't. 
Maybe you can give me some feedback when you're done. <laughs> okay, one, two, three. So next thing is um, click on the create new article link. I'm sorry, what's the URL? It's uh, wiki.projecthalo.com. Wiki And then click on the create new article link, which will give you a, a pop-up dialog asking for the title of a new page. Maybe the first thing is maybe you can create a page for yourself where just give some metadata about, about you. So I will create a page called Michael. Another Michael here? Good. <laughs> then select um, Create an empty article in Visiwik Editor and click on OK. In case the box on top doesn't turn green but red instead, that means this page already exists, ah, you should either uh, think about the changing that page or creating a page with another title. Is the remaining these list is configurable? Can you add new categories to it? Okay, so this list is um, created automatically based on the ontology. And uh, later on we'll see um, how to get things there and why this list all, also contains categories. Did I click on OK already? Okay. Yeah, okay. So this is how the WYSIWYG editor looks like. empty page and maybe I just add some uh, and as you can see here it's um, quite easy to use you can a menu bar to um, change the layout and uh, provide a different um, wiki kind of uh, structuring elements for pages. Um, this is the same box. Like, for example, selecting a different heading and so on. So I can even insert an image here by clicking on this image uh, icon and in this dialog you can use auto completion for the um, for this for the selection box you can add some things about the uh, uh, layout information for an for the image and then it's within the page and once you are done you click on save and you created your first SMW uh, wiki page. So I think this was not too quick. So please do it yourself if something doesn't work or you have a question. I am happy to help. So I have a question about the, the uh, editor itself. Yeah. Uh, can it be customized to add new, uh, new buttons, new menus? Yeah, actually that's, that's uh, what we did. We customized CKN. But this uh, needs to be done in PHP, so there's nothing that the wiki. Okay, so. Uh, if you're a developer, you can add things there. Mm -hmm. How did you add that picture? I selected it from, okay. So, if I want to change it again, I just click the edit button here. Mm -hmm. And there's this um, image here, which lets you insert an image which already has been uploaded to the wiki. Oh, okay. If you want to add your own um, image, you can do this using this dialog, for example. Upload a new file, ah, okay. and files include images. But um, uh, you should and you'd do, be able do to, this. You'll be able to browse that list. You could have to upload five, five files. You will okay, see maybe, maybe, files. maybe I, just, I just upload a file here.
So you get this is a standard media wiki dialog for uploading uh, assets into the wiki. So I just upload this thing here. Say upload, and you can actually change the destination file name also. This is the name that this file is stored within the media wiki um, folder on, on the server. If you refer to this just, thing, just your account. Say it again? You said a global name for This it? is global, yeah. So it's it's a wiki. Essentially everything is visible for everyone, which you can also extend the morning wikis. Usually are intended to exactly to do this, to share information. This includes uh, images as well. So this is good. Files which are in foreign repo, all these files get uploaded into MediaWiki's local repository. With this editor, can you include embedded files from images? Images from uh, MediaWiki does, Media does not uh, allow this. So, in embedding images from other ser servers, mm -hmm. this uh, is actually disallowed. Okay. There is a feature for this, it's called foreign farm file repo, and uh, it's most commonly used to. Um, use images from Wikimedia Commons. Uh -huh. uh, that means you must configure it. Yeah, uh, for the Commons case, there actually is just one uh, global variable which you need to set to true instead of false. And that if you um, put in an image which starts the name that's not found on your local wiki, it will fetch it from Commons. It will do all the nice things such as caching and whatever. So Media Wiki actually has very good support for oh, okay. this. And what is the syntax to add this, to do in insert this? Is it also file colon or something? Um, the syntax is exactly the same as you normally do it. Um, I mean, it, it, it will go to comments if there is no local file, but you can also configure like which order it does, um, oh, okay. prefixes and stuff like okay, that. Okay, I wasn't aware of this, so there's no one. What's the name? Well, it's called Frank File Repo, um, at least in the code. Um, I don't know where this is documentation. So does it work for someone? So yes. Okay, very good. Okay, one success. Two. Oh, okay. uh, well, you can check the recent changes. I can check the recent changes, yes, you're right. <laughs> oh, but I'm um, hesitant. I made your favorite page. If I'm clicking on the images, shouldn't I see a list of everything that's already been uploaded? All the images everybody has already uploaded? Uh, what, um, do you think this is because of the wines? Uh, maybe. So if you don't see anything, you can click uh, Control Space in this box, which provides you with the auto completion. Okay, now it has pictures. Okay, very good. So, what do we see here? One, two, three, four. Can you please? Okay. Couple of pages where I don't know where they come. Oh, look at this. So many. Okay. So I don't know who Blue Raven is, but we can find out. <laughs> <laughs> The layout is a little okay, simpl primitive, simplistic, <laughs> but nevertheless. So I'm not going to broadcast my birth date. <laughs> <gasps> I'm sorry, <laughs> but this is the internet, right? Don't yeah. leave anything that's on the internet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Google will find it. Do you want some more time with this? Otherwise, um, I'd like to take the next step. The next step would be, okay, let's um, add semantics to this. 
Um, we can, okay, let me try to do it in the way that I intended. So the way I intended was to create number, some tasks for task management system or something that we had in the morning already. And this could be a sample task. So I just create a new page, the new name, which then will contain information about tasks, about uh, this particular task. <coughs> and if I don't do anything here, maybe in, uh, except for layout information. This will be just a simple wiki page, similar to Wikipedia page or other pages, that the page that you just created. So, but uh, I actually want to make this a semantic wiki page, so we add some semantics. The things with the columns on them don't become attributes, or do they? No, this is pure text. So, Semantic Media Wiki does not interpret any text. Everything that's data in the wiki must, uh, must be marked up by you. So, it's a complete manual process, or we have some uh, programs that do the annotations, but um, there's no interpretation of whatever is here. Uh, good question. So, first thing that I, I do is maybe I save this page first so that you can copy and paste Michael's task if you want it, and then change it. So I think the cable did not help. So the first thing that typically you do in Semantic Media Wiki is you tell which category a page belongs to, right? And this can be done in the, with the Wiki Editor as well with this small C icon here standing for category. You just go to somewhere in the text, click on the category item and nothing happens. And this is a task. And click on it. <coughs> this category doesn't exist because the name is slightly different. It's called SMW plus sandbox task. This is if you want just the namespace for task. I copy, uh, I use auto completion, namely control space to get this green box which exists and then I say, okay, please add this category. Meaning, tag this page with this category name. And then I can do this, the same um, things for some of the properties. For example, I can say, Michael should be the value of a property. And which properties exist? Again, I use autocomplete, uh, autocomplete here to uh, give me a list of possible properties which are now applicable to tasks. So essentially, I see all the properties here, but the most likely ones or the relevant ones, ones for tasks are on the top of this list. Namely, a task can be assigned to the user. Uh, it can have a description which is of type text, 
which has an end and a start date, which are dates, of course. And it might be related to projects, which are of type project, if you want. So I just say, OK, this is assigned to. And what you see in this, in this process is um, I see the conceptual level. I see the properties and categories that are applicable, and I don't see the meta characters of the, the markup itself. Yeah, could you uh, repeat how to search a category that exists? Okay. So the, I wrote something like this, selected it, and clicked on the C yeah. button. But um, this means, okay, I want to annotate this page with something called task, or I could have even written, I don't know, QQQ or something. This category doesn't exist. I assumed it exists, but it doesn't. So um, it said task, and it will be orange, meaning okay, this category doesn't exist. But <coughs> ah, I, I found a category or a name of a category which is similar. Did you mean this one? Then I can say, yes, that's what I meant. I click on it, and then, and then I click on this small um, add link at the bottom of this. Um, dialog and add this annotation to the wiki page itself. So, but this text is of course wrong. Right. for their problems. So much added. Say it again, Jesse. No, I thought someone had added the page. More than one person added the page, I'm just thinking. No, I, this is all on the server, on the, on the client. It should not be a problem. So this, why does this should And if I, this is now saying, okay, give me the property I want to use for the value Michael on this page. And again, control space will give me some proposals. And this one should be assigned to. And screen, then I can add. Okay. Then I get the tag within the wiki page. I can do the same thing for start and end dates, for example. And if you followed me and entered similar information in, in, into your pages, I should now be able to query this data and give me the consolidated list, collecting all the data from the pages that you created and displayed somewhere else. Maybe the best way to do this is the query interface. to see how this works. So the first um, filter condition, if you want, is filtering for um, pages which belong to the category task. So if I click Add here, this filter will be added to the query and automatically uh, executed. So we see some tasks here already, some instances which you guys created. 
some of them were there before, and this is mine. And then uh, I can say, okay, by the way, I only, I also want to see the start and end date of those things. I enter the properties, and I say, okay, please show it in the result. I add it to the query, and I see some dates here. And the same thing for end date and description. So what you see here is that I can interactively create um, queries, modify it, and I get some feedback about the um, results. For example, I should be able to say, okay, by the way, I'm only interested in task which um, end after in 2012. So that means instead of getting a list of all tasks which were in the wiki, I only, I only get those which are, uh, which meet uh, the edit uh, filter condition that I just uh, added. And finally, in this query options section of this query interface you can even um, modify the, um, the output format for example instead of a table you can just get an ordered list or unordered list which doesn't look too good in this case but uh, in other cases it might look good. So that's um, essentially it. Um, I can give you some more time in annotating this data. Because I don't see anything here yet. Or is it because my, my query was too restricted? Did anyone succeed in creating task with proper markup? I hope so, otherwise I will have to help. Yes. Uh, I just made some tests. 
So in semantic media weekly has a strong assumption that you can only have property values, categories, or tag if you want, annotations, or paging. Okay. So if in, in triple speed, the subject of every triple in semantic media weekly must be a page or the page that contains. So how do I turn that into a page? So I'm going to make a page and have to be set value. Okay, then uh, I like copy and paste this. So it becomes smart. Uh, I want to make, you know, I want to make sure this. Okay. So maybe this is. I don't know. It's not this. Okay. I have a list of this tasks. Is, things to do. Uh, this is your page. Okay. Yes, yes. So let's create a new page. Yes. Maybe with this title. Okay. And oh, so whatever you want. Oh, I can't. Uh, is there an internet here to say make a page here? Um, make this into a new page? No, that, that's not possible. Oh, yeah. But there's uh, on top of this page, there's this. Uh, there's this Create new article, oh, which is essentially what you're looking for. Okay, uh, article. Okay, uh, sorry. Yeah. 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 Okay, I will say yeah. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. This is something that someone should have said in the world. But actually, Larry yeah, told me to set it aside to not very explicit. This may be something that we need to be repeated more than right. once. Okay, so uh, I will go there and tell. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, maybe maybe some of the assumptions of Semantic Media Wiki was not made explicit enough. So, one of the basic assumptions of SNW is that the triples stored in SNW or the annotations made in SNW always refer to the page that contains this annotation. There's no way around it except for internal objects, but they are somehow special. So whenever you want to make a statement about something, the statement must be on the page that represents this something. This is a, this is a must. SMW. Think about every page is the object in SMW. Subject. Well, okay. from object already <laughs> programming. <laughs> it's, yeah. it's right, right, it's the subject. <laughs> so with California has capital Sacramento, Sacramento must exist. No, not necessarily. Or, well, not, not necessarily. But SMW and the semantic web in general is semi-structured, right? You don't need a schema. You can have one. It even helps, but it's not required. And all the objects don't need to exist unless. Um, you want to make statements about them. You can refer to them like in the web, right? You can have links pointing to nowhere. Nevertheless, the statement that a link to there exists, still exists. It's the same for the semantic level as well. So I don't know what about the time. So let me execute this query again. Maybe something new has happened. Oh, 
And by the way, when I click on the query code stuff in the query interface, I see the, the syntax that I created by just clicking and selecting properties. Right? So in order to read or write this, um, you need some experience. Still see not or don't see too many other tasks. Yeah, so yeah. How can you refresh the okay, so without uh, rebuilding the Okay, right good, good point. I think actually you must change oh, the okay. syntax and click on the update. Okay. Maybe that's the that was the trick. But usually this is um, independent of people creating the content, right? You're just writing the, the, the queries, but they don't know that at the same time someone else is somewhere else changing the data that might be referred by the query. Should I save it first? Aha, at least some pages. Yeah. Okay, I see pages and some of them have dates. Very good. So this is this is just right. Whenever the page is rendered, the query gets executed and the query results, that means the table gets embedded into this page. Right? So, then you can use the load query? So, is that, that yeah. something you can assign it a name and then load query? Yeah, yeah that's the intention of the load query thing. But so, yeah. I'm not sure that this works right now. So, I won't like, I like not to turn it off. So, the query code, you, you pass it on a page with a protocol namespace? Paste it or what? On the page with the particular namespace? No. I can, put, I can put queries wherever I want. So this is uh, the, the main page now. So why don't I... Just change this a little bit. allows me to insert queries directly. So I'm in the rich text editor here, and I can go to the query interface here, and recreate the query that I just did, or I copy and paste this. So when I insert query, I get this icon here, 
shown in the which text editor? But if I save the, cha the, the changes, I heard your words, but I guess I didn't see it. So what would we expect? We would expect that the result of the query will be displayed in the page. So, so you have to uh, call the query manifestation from another, from the... In the WYSIWYG editor. Or you can go to the normal wiki text editor and just copy and paste the stuff yeah. over there. This is essentially what the WYSIWYG editor does for you. But then, uh, here it's exactly the same as copying and pasting. So if you... No, so, so this was, okay, this was uh, not the intended workflow. An intended workflow is you go on the page where you want to show the query results. There you open the query interface, format the query, and say say insert, and then you're done. I just was too lazy now to, to do it again. So this is now the main page, and the main page contains now automatically generated query results, which collects the data provided by all of you independently. So I think this uh, is a uh, this is why semantic media wiki is so cool, right? Many people create small pieces of data and many other people can make use of this data within the wiki, display it and could, we could put this on, on a timeline and so on. So I think that's a cool thing. This is our follow-up talk on Friday. It's how to turn that table into all the different graphs. Ah, very good. So I knew this already. Okay, so... Jesse, when must I finish? Can you tell me? Um, it started when probably three, three forty. Yeah, three forty. Oh, sorry, four fifty. Okay. Which means in thirty minutes. Am I right? Go ahead. We still have a lot of time. Okay. So, so the assumption is now that you essentially understand what. Uh, Semantic Wiki, uh, Semantic Media Wiki is about, and you can create wiki pages. You can add annotations, and so and um, we've seen how um, queries are built. So ne the next thing is um, to um, make a little um, X. Yeah. A side issue, a th theoretical detour, if you want. So, uh, what is an ontology? Since the Semantic Media Wiki is about semantics, and the semantic web currently is the branch of AI which um, seems to be somehow successful, um, nevertheless, um, it had a history already, right? This quote here, an ontology is a formal explicit specification of a shared conceptualization. This is from Tom Gruber, uh, Stanford uh, PhD student at that time from 84, I think. So this is quite an old quote already, but it's still valid. So maybe um, you don't understand this. Um, this is a natural re reaction to this quote, right? What? But if I um, deconstruct it, I think um, it will make sense. So um, formal, formal means computers can understand this, right? It's in, written in a language that a computer can understand. Explicit, ex explicit means Okay, everything that's necessary for the computer to understand it in the right way is spelled out. It is there. It's uh, represented in some form. Specification, I uh, would like to translate this into model, right? You have something that you want to represent. And shared conceptualization, this is particularly inter interesting for the wiki world, which we somehow now intersect with the artificial intelligence world, right? Shared conceptualization means, okay, we agree on what things mean, right? That's as simple as it is. But if we don't agree, the model doesn't make sense, right? Because there is no model. But um, said that, typically no one agrees completely, but sufficiently, I would say, right? The model also makes sense if okay, we agree, yeah, I don't exactly understand what you mean with this, and we have slightly different uh, meanings about something. But nevertheless, in general, um, the model itself um, works well, and um, the model contains of, in um, most cases. There are so many ontology languages out there, or formal uh, specific, uh, specification languages, and um, uh, entity relationship, for example. 
Well, you could call this an ontology language. It's not uh, too far away, or your object-oriented model. It's a kind of ontology language as well. Database schemas, relational model, is stretching it a little bit, but I don't care. This is also a kind of language for representing models. And what all these um, languages have in common, typically, is they talk about classes, categories, entities in ER, or what, what else do we have? Um, sets in model theory, or tables in relational uh, model. It's representing classes, sets of instances, right? It's, the, on, it's on, the, on the schema level, if you want. So we have this. Semantic Media Wiki also has this. This is the category concept uh, um, inherited by Media Wiki, right? Let's just assume, OK, a category in the wiki is the same as an object-oriented class or an entity from the ER model. Um, there's one particularly interesting relationship between classes or categories, which is the is a higher uh, uh, relationship, meaning generalization and speciali specialization, or inheritance, or taxonomic relations, or so on. This also exists in Semantic Media Wiki. And then there are other things, the uh, dotted lines here, which relate concepts. This says, project has member person, which is uh, kind of the uh, schema level for saying, if I have a specific project, this specific project can have a relationship to a specific person. So this is a schema level information which um, provides the, uh, uh, the schema for representing objects or instances. Right? This, this could also be Java classes, and you could have special instances of those classes related with a, a has member association in your app, let's say. Then there are other relations or properties which don't point to other classes, but to some uh, built-in atomic data types. This is also nothing new. And in the end, there are actual instances of those, of those uh, categories uh, depicted in yellow here with real uh, instantiations of the properties. So, I'm sorry, the difference between a dashed line and a solid line is? Uh, this is a relate. OK, so the dashed lines are part of the model. The solid lines are part of the meta model. The, okay. sorry. Because, the, like for example, budget number, yeah. uh, the budget then is part of the model and it has members. But if, the, what's the problem? Because has members sounds like it's part of something that came out of the box. Okay. Budget probably okay. did not come out. Okay, uh, fair enough, that's, that's correct. This depends on the uh, modeling language, right? There are modeling languages which uh, have constructs like this, yeah. or pathonomic, meronomic uh, relationships. Right? defining what does it mean to be a part of something else. And actually there are dozens of different kinds of part of, right? Some ontology languages have a notion for this, those don't, because um, this is uh, very subtle and sometimes even domain specific. But in and this ontology case, languages try to be domain independent. But in right? this case, budget is part of your model. Yeah. Okay. So essentially, um, all the labels are part of my model, except for the labels of the solid lines. So I think this is already what I said. In ontology, now I'm trying to use the SMW language to represent ontologies. It consists of categories, instances, or wiki pages, and property or property pages. Right? So you have the dashed line here being part of the property namespace. You have the yellow boxes being pages in the main namespace, and you have the gray boxes being pages in the category namespace. We're done. So everything I need to, to tell you, I already did, except for one thing, namely how do I add the semantics of the pages. So in the morning, you, you have seen uh, things like this. Those things actually represent the semantics of the page. If there's a wiki page called Semantic Wiki Tutorial with this text on it, it means uh, 
Dear SMW Weekly, please store the following information for me. There's a relationship between the MTV tutorial and Daniel, and the kind of relationship is attendee. Or if you want, you, if you want to read the triple, subject, predicate, object. Or if you want to read the table, you just have to rearrange this. If you want to see objects here, you just choose your representation language and you're done. In SNW, it essentially looks like this. So, relations and properties can hardly be, uh, be differentiated. Um, this means, uh, this essentially is the same text, right? Except for the um, class here. But if the same, if one text is on the page in the name, in the main namespace, this means I'm an instance of this category. If the same text is on the category page, it means I'm a subcategory of. So there's a slight difference in the interpretation of the same text here. But um, if you understand this picture, you would not even get confused. Because if you see uh, categories, you always interpret this at, uh, as a generalization relationship. If you are in the main namespace, you always interpret the category annotation as an instance of. Which also means you can't have meta models, right? You cannot say, OK, this is not a subclass of something, but it's actually an instance of some meta class. Doesn't isn't, isn't possible in SMW. But uh, applications that require meta modeling might not be uh, a good idea for SMW installations anyway. So a similar list uh, was presented in the morning about the properties of properties. Yaron presented allowed values and the type of a property. This is all, it also exists, of course, in SMW+. SMW+, adds some more properties of properties, or meta properties for one. For example, for every property, you can define the domain and range. In uh, SMW proper, you can only define the type of a property. You cannot say, um, what did we have? Yeah, you cannot say attendee only applies to meetings or projects or something. In SMW Plus, you can say attendees only hold between uh, workshops and persons. So you can restrict on the schema level um, uh, when this property is applicable. Since this is a semi-structured data model, you can violate this constraint. It's not enforced strictly. But it helps a lot, for example, for auto-completion, for proposing the right things in the right context. Could you import something like OWL yeah. or Dublin Core or something yeah. like that? Yeah. So um, SNW Plus with the triple stock connector, uh, it's an external component. Essentially, this uh, can <laughs> interpret any semantic web format and translate this into wiki pages. But this translation process is generic, right? The wiki pages probably don't look uh, as pretty as you want them to look. Can you, for example, because you, you said you had that ontology there. I mean, ontology has come off the shelf from some places. I could just go and install OWL mm -hmm. and install Dublin Core and then say this is a book. Now, OWL is the ontology language, so there's not the OWL ontology. But right? it's, it's uh, meta level. I'd have to import something. Yeah, so I can show you something. Well, actually, why don't we? So I'm just going to the passage search feature now here and looking for Japan. And you should see a lot of things starting with countries slash something. This essentially was a big owl file which I tweaked a little bit. It comes from the FAO, Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations, which represent countries and their history and relationships and, and so on. And um, in other words, these are all wiki pages, Asia, Japan, and Eastern Asia. They're wiki pages generated out of an owl file. So now they are wiki pages. Now all the tools that are uh, that do exist in the semantic media wiki world can use them, can make things with them. I can query them, 
um, and in this case, I can do um, drill down on it, right? And in this case, you see, okay, why do I see Asia? Because there's this text Japan in the, on the Asia page, Asia page, Eastern Asia, the same thing. Um, So, so drill down probably doesn't make sense if I only have three results, but nevertheless. So maybe I can say, okay, I want to drill down and only want to find um, self-governed countries. So for all the wiki pages that exist, please only find me pages in the category self-governed country, right? Instead, now I have 207 different pages, and I can say, okay, no. I want to see only those 195 which actually have a currency uh, annotation in the, in the week. And there are, so I'm drilling down first on all countries, now on all countries which have an annotated currency. And then I can see, uh, oh, there are 14 countries which have the dollar, interest. And, and so on. So I can use any of the existing properties to drill down to restrict the set of um, pages I'm interested in. So, and what you see here on the, over the uh, horizontal line is essentially a query that I formulate. Right? And if, if you want, I what's the good thing? I've no idea. So, why am I here? Because yeah, of the importing yeah. item. Yeah. And uh, about the drugs question, uh, when you, you can import the model part of the old file, so not the instant of the data, but the, the, the category and the link to the category with the properties? This is also possible, yes. It's possible. And this is also, mean, this also the template and forms? No. no. Only the category. Templates and are evil. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so only the category. Templates the are evil. Page. That's what I said. Pages. Wow. So. It will import, the, uh, it will create the category and the property pages? Yeah. And, uh, the fact and the instances with in their the with the data, yeah, if, if, if they are contained in the output. But no template, so you have to build more templates. So That's what I said. The uh, actual pages don't look pretty. No, yeah. They essentially only have annotations because the owl file only have the data, right? There's no text there instead of hidden in some property values, maybe. And yeah. there's no generic way of okay pages of type. Um, uh, continent should be rendered in this way. So, of course, you can write a mechanism to read an ontology containing this kind of data and creating wiki pages for this, but the gen general general tools, of course, cannot do this. But that's also uh, right for the way around. So, from the wiki, you can export only the category and, uh, and property page to, to get an old model for that? I'm not sure whether this is. Because you should have to rebuild the link between the category. And the you should be able to dump it in such a way that, like, uh, Roger could read it or something. Okay, yeah, so this is possible, but it would not be restricted to categories and property pages only. It would just take. So, okay, so SNW has an export feature mm -hmm. which says export all the pages having a specific annotation called part of bundle. It means, okay, you can define your bundle in the wiki saying this and this and this and this, this pages belong to one bundle, and I want to export this one. So that's possible. So you can export your model without the instance? Then if you remove the annotations, yes, you, you could do this. And that's a, and this are uh, feature that's uh, specific from SMW Plus? Or yeah. 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 I think the extension uh, is called data import extension, right? The extension to do that. No, no, we're talking about getting stuff out of the wiki. The export one. That's a standard as a media wiki extension. But not RDF or something. No, that's not. For the categories? You will get an XML done for pages. Right. Which Protege does not know how to interpret. That's right, that's right. Okay, about well, the data types, doesn't matter. Okay, so now comes the fun part. My favorite part of the presentation. So now you know how an ontology looks like from a theoretical point of view. Why not create one now with you guys? I mean, you create it and I'm just the uh, bookie. And um, upon popular uh, request, we will model the world of celebrities. OK. 
Okay. What does it mean to model the world of celebrities? It means, okay, let's think about categories or sets of them and what properties do they have and so on. I'd like to do it in the following way. I just write down a number of things here that you tell me and then I go to the wiki and model the ontology. Okay? So I am listening. Favorite drugs. What? <laughs> Favorite drugs. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Will already did this, right? Maybe, can you hold back for a second <laughs> and let <laughs> the other guys uh, so which come up with are? more natural yes, uh, Gender. G gender, okay. okay. Name, name, let's talk with names. Which, I call in which view they are famous for? Ah, okay, okay. Can we mention a part, uh, uh, the number of Field. Music. Musician. Uh, okay, I, 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 w I would use the substance. Uh, subs so, who are developers? So, okay, a uh, musician. So, who are developers? They are not celebrities. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Why sorry. Actors. Actors, okay. Yeah. 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 Not yet. <laughs> Politician. Politician? Okay. Slide. Yeah. Okay, this is stretching it a little bit. Athlete. <laughs> yeah. yeah, very good. Billionaire. Reality TV. Okay, I think we have enough <laughs> categories, yeah. right? So maybe now we can think about the properties or relations or maybe related categories which are required in order to define one of them. Divorced from. This okay. This is an Easter. It's a multiple value. Yeah. One too many. Scandal. Number four. Famous four. Famous four. I just did a go add pause at that. They are probably famous for different things, right? Yeah. Yeah. So maybe this might be too generic. Yeah. Well, we oh, no, they, they could be, oh, or it could allow multiple values. Yeah, yeah, multiple kinds of things you could be famous for. Right. Yeah. You could be a politician and you could have a big scandal. Yes, of course. <laughs> Google bird. You can be an actor and a politician. So <laughs> what? You can be an actor and a politician. An ex-politician. Yeah. <laughs> Ronald, Ronald Reagan. Here. Yeah. Reagan or, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, do I need to look at my list or are you, do you come up with some more? Well, How many do you want? Many more, oh, so that you can pick the good one. Oh, he died, what? Birth, birth, birth date. Birth, oh, birth date, yeah, very good point. Well, it's not my first year. <laughs> Facebook URL. <laughs> Twitter handle. Okay, very good. Place of birth or, or nationality. You could have uh, references to in uh, celebrity publications. Would that okay. you, know, you, you appeared in the following, you know, the following paparazzi took your pictures and you know, you have this story, this story, this story. You, know, you appear in the press. Yeah. What do you call, call that? Do we have yeah. property published in accolades? Yeah. Uh, I don't know what this means. Well, but you could have you could have other other concepts. Let's say uh, press article. Yeah, yeah. Mentioning something. Yeah, some yeah. mentioned by. Uh, We have, I have to speed up? Yes. Okay. But this is fun. Okay, one more. <laughs> one more. Net worth. Yeah. Okay, good. Which means uh, how much money they got, right? Right. At time T. <laughs> <laughs> At time T. At, uh, the, the net worth varies. 
But uh, the wiki is not good at representing complex data models, which I guess this time dimension would be introduced. Yeah. Okay. So because we all heard what we said, we also agree what, with everything that's on the board, right? Mm -hmm. uh, this is just the shared conceptualization step. So what I'm going to do now is I go to this special page called Data Explorer, which was uh, used to be called uh, Ontology Browser, where we try to formalize this knowledge to some extent. Okay, so let's add the category called Is there a graphical representation? No. This is as good as it gets. So, and celebrities are musicians, actors, politicians. Are you adding new category or subcategory to category celebrity or are you creating? I'm creating the tree right now. Uh, or didn't, uh, maybe I didn't understand the question. So I'm saying actor is a subcategory of celebrity now. So, and um, since um, you now know that um, all semantic statements in the wiki must be on specific pages in order to create the right model, this also means. In the background, we are creating pages. In the background, we are adding annotations to those pages, representing this, right? And then we read back and display the tree. Did you just say it? All actors are celebrities now? No, all uh, celebrities. Ah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> I live in Hollywood. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> ah, okay. See this, see this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they are celebrities to a certain extent. Can we uh, agree on <laughs> that? Yeah, okay. Okay, but, but that's a good These point. These are the mothers, yeah. yeah. That, that's a really good point. But this is because, um, because some actors really are celebrities right? and some celebrities are actors. Otherwise, if it should have been to create a celebrity <laughs> field or <laughs> activity field, category, yeah. Yeah. and a property between the celebrity as a yeah. Yeah. yeah, you're right. You're completely right, but I keep it like this because it uh, also introduces some of the concepts I want to discuss. Yeah. For example, inheritance. Yeah. Right? So I can say for a celebrity, I can. Someone has entered cause of death for celebrity. <laughs> Who was this? <laughs> Okay, so let's look at the list. Uh, okay, every celebrity has a gender problem, right? You're not the only one that does that. And again? If I wanted to, you do that at a higher level as a person, right? Yeah, actually, yeah, you're right. So um, we could go up and probably in order to get the model right, we have to go through many iterations that look at the different cases and also the application which actually makes use of this data somehow in the future also influences the structure here. This is <coughs> like a change, new yeah. use case, you have the data, but you don't know the applications yet and every application should have a different view yeah. on, the, on the model. And, um, but this, the wiki is an application, right? It must pick a view already, which means it has to define the ontology to some extent. And a single object can exist in multiple ontologies. Yes, definitely, definitely. But in one wiki, this is uh, not so easy to achieve. Um, because if you look at Wikipedia, right, many pages have dozens of categories. And usually, or sometimes, those dozens of categories come exactly from um, the, the root cause for this is that people look from different angles on the same thing 
And that means, okay, I want to classify in this way, and that, or I want to classify in this way, and that means I have to create at, many categories. At the very least, every one of these is a wiki page. So it yes, belongs to at least that category. Yeah, exactly. So the wiki interface does not provide yet yet to define the allowed values in the data explorer, so I just uh, I need to go to the actual the actual wiki page and you see this is the markup that was generated in the background. So See the other yeah, the no, 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 You're making them all camel case with the beginning lowercase letter. Is that a convention? Um, actually, that's not correct. All properties automatically start with a capital letter, ah. so this is the same, and this will this is just my fault. It will update when the page is completely ah. done. I will translate famous for into something else, namely musicians. Uh, what do musicians have? They sing songs. What instruments do they, they play? Instrument, very good. Yeah. And actually, the question about um, camel case and stuff, this is a good one. Um, you should do it in a consistent way, although not the way that I do. <laughs> so you, you can have a space inside the name of a category. Yes. So all categories and properties are wiki titles, and wiki titles uh, may contain a couple of uh, special characters, including space, and uh, some characters are not allowed. So actor stars in a movie or something. Role. Is role better? Yeah, role or, or, or genre. Yeah. Are they a television actor, a film actor, yeah. or a stage yeah, actor? Yeah, genre, but you know, role will work both in both genres. So you had a choice. You said page. You could have picked something else. I could have said string instead. Yeah, that's right. And actually. <laughs> the role is probably... But it, that, that one should be a page, but gender is probably... A gender value. is a string. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, We're just going to keep up with it. <laughs> so actually... Blah, 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 blah. of data types which are supported. So the next thing I think this is uh, obvious for you is namely the task which is coming up for you. Namely, please create your favorite celebrity in the wiki. Create a page and add the metadata for it. And uh, now I must think carefully who I choose. Okay, the way to do it is to enter the name here 
since we are in California. Uh, I choose a uh, politician. She's a politician and an actor. Actually, it's a politician and an actor, you're right. But for the creation process, I must choose one. So and what you see then is a slightly different uh, wiki edit page, namely the page consisting of the form, form, similar to the forms that Yaren presented in the morning. But this is created automatically based on the ontology that we just created, right? We create a con the conceptual model, formalize it in the wiki, and then the wiki takes care of interpreting the model in the way that it makes sense. Mm -hmm. Let me just see if I understood what you said. It, there's no way that you could add Arnold Schwarzenegger as an instance of more than one category? No. Um, I said that I can't do it in the creation process. Uh, so you do one and then you add some more. Yeah. So, um, but for some reason the annotations didn't do well. So let me just add, uh, add another one here. Can you go uh, over uh, inflation? So, stay in it. Yeah. <laughs> <right, okay. laughs> What's the name? I was from Maria Schreiber. Yeah, Maria Schreiber, yeah. Maria? <laughs> like this? Yeah. Uh, there may be others. I think no C, but. Okay, yeah. close enough. We know what we're talking about. Yeah. So now I save the page. And if yeah. politicians and actors have uh, different properties, so it's probably you're wondering how will the form look like, right? It would have to be a union. It has to be a union, yeah, but there are many ways of presenting this. And how do we do this? How did you go up to the to the to the schema page so we could uh, so we could create an instance? How did you go there to create Arnold Schwarzenegger? Ah, I just took the create new article editor again that we used before, but now I didn't say create an empty article, now I picked a category from the list, and then I get this slightly different... Um, oh, I see, okay. ...user interface. So then, when, when I have two categories at the, at, the, at the bottom, the form looks different. It has essentially one section for every, annotate, for every annotated category. But since politicians and actors are both celebrities, I don't want uh, the same properties to appear twice, right? That so, means you know, they, we they have some some heuristic to, to go up the tree and show the properties on the right level. If politician would have had any additional attributes, which he probably doesn't have right now, or properties, we would see the politician box, an actor box, and a celebrity or person or thing box, whatever. So, so if, a, if a politician is divorced from someone and an actor is divorced from someone and, so, and, and Arnold is both, do they have to get divorced twice? No, the divorce, thing, so everything that you see here is attached to this page, right? Even if there would be no scheme so at all, you would have the same annotation. If there is a, uh, if there is a intersection of the properties of both inheritances, what will happen to the things that exist in both categories? I don't understand. Uh, let's say both a politician and an actor can be divorced from someone. Yeah, this is schema level only. Yeah, if it happens at a schema level, they will still only have a single field that's a divorce Triple, from. Yes, yes. And if it appeared in actor, then it will not appear on the politician. It would appear in both. Uh, uh, this is a, 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 a borderline case. I'm not sure whether this is handled by the heuristic. But um, if you have a thing, uh, if you happen to have this, this probably means that you should look back at the schema and push it uh, up, yeah. tweak it a little bit. Uh, 
when you created uh, the category and the properties in the, that, the ontology browser, so when you set it, it uh, created automatically the forms corresponding to the to each category. No, the, the, the forms. The no, the, the forms are not generated unless they are needed. It means when I open the Arnold Schwarzenegger page. Okay, the, the system will look in the ontology and create the form. It will be the, the, the form only on the... Yeah. So in other words, there's no form page for this. Okay. And it cannot be because there are so many different combina theoretical combinations of categories, right? Someone could be an actor, and a scientist, and a politician, right? So you would have many, you would require many different forms. But this is fully automatic. Of course, it doesn't look pretty, but it reflects exactly what's in the schema. That means if you take care of your schema, your forms will look good enough. And there are means to, to tweak them a little bit, for example, saying, okay, I want to change the order of the properties. Maybe I want to have the death date always be uh, after the birthday, for example, or something. But this, this can be configured, but um, you don't need to specify the form completely. <coughs> So, you want, did, did you create your, what's your favorite set of? Oh yeah, well, yeah we created it, yeah, it's a Dolly Park, of course. Ah, of course. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the purpose of automatic semantic form is to uh, save your trouble of creating and editing semantic forms, but preserving the, the functionality that is required to get the data input into your system. So, save your time and improve your uh, productivity. It, it, it's not as uh, you know cus customizable as other you know, ways like a, a basic semantic form. You can create your template, you can edit your form to put some HTML, and other things there. So, but it's uh, but by default you get this. Right, by default you get this, right? But it's pretty much uh, very little work. Okay, we are in the coffee break already, so I will wrap up without formatting the query. This is your homework, kids. Okay? Please go home and formulate the query to find the celebrities. I think we've got the uh, editor sound after this. We have two hour editor sound, which uh, you know, it's basic time for group editing. You know, people, we can edit the regular semantic form, regular media wiki as well as this. So, uh, so Michael, you'll have time to, uh, to showcase your uh, stuff after, uh, after this talk. Actually, uh, I, I won't. I will help them doing it. Oh, that'd be great. Then. Yeah. So, I'll demo the fastest search. I think people would like to see that. Okay, so I'm around. If yeah. you want to see something, just. Uh, I installed Solar. That was hard. <laughs> come, come to me. So, to wrap up, uh, 30 seconds. So, today we learned how to create articles, how to enter text. Actually, tables I skipped. I don't know why. Um, with the WYSIWYG with editor and with automatic semantics forms, I also. Uh, skipped uh, this one, but um, you will know how to use it once you see it. Uh, we saw how to add an ontology into the wiki using the data explorer, and we saw how to retrieve the data out of the wiki using the query interface, formulating formal queries, the faceted search, like doing drill down in a more interactive way. So that's it. If you want to learn more, you could go to this web page which is all about SMW Plus. And there's even community sites and so on. You can ask questions and so on. Thank you very much.